Good morning, everyone from Kanazawa, Japan here. Uh, this was our first real night in Japan and we had an absolutely amazing uh, night. Our room is so warm and heated, even though it is just so beautiful and snowy outside here in Kanazawa. It's what makes some of this uh, area so unbelievably special and we're so lucky to be here uh, when it's been snowing. So um, today on the docket, we are going to go to Shirikawago, which is, uh, a very old historic UNESCO World Heritage Site uh, in the mountains here in Japan and the architecture is known for having no nails in it um, so it's all made out of wooden joinery uh, that's been constructed of over 400 years ago uh, and the thatched roofs are pitched at such an angle that the the snow won't fall and accumulate on them uh, and they're created in you know, a style of praying hands together. So it's, it's supposed to be a really, really beautiful um, thing to see with this amazing traditional Japanese Minka farmhouse architecture. So we're very excited to be going there today. Uh, we're gonna hop onto a bus. It's like an hour and a half. Uh, before then, we're gonna just uh, walk around outside. And I think we're a little bit more prepared than we were yesterday for the uh, snow and the weather that we're going to be facing. So um, we're going to have a much better day today. We're going to go out, we're going to explore some amazing things, and then uh, we are going to go to Takayama, which is another old um, town with a lot of uh, samurai history and architecture. So wish us luck today as we brave the elements, and uh, we will see you outside on the way to Shirikawa Go. We got a couple of hours before we have to catch the bus to Shirikawa. So we are on the way to Nagamachi, which is the old samurai district here in Kanazawa. We're gonna walk around and we're also going to go visit the large fish market. Reed here is a, uh, a vegan, so let's see how squeamish he gets <laughs> next to all of this freshly caught seafood. We got a 30 minute walk over to the samurai district um, and then we're gonna go to the market. to the samurai district and as you can see around me the architecture has changed into very old traditional um, architecture if you can look here we have the the, uh, the the classic wood and all of these walls are protected by a thatch and uh, it's almost like an adobe you can see the uh, the natural mud plaster here with uh, the straw keeping it all together and uh, it really makes it a different uh, energy in the whole in the whole way that the city feels in the architecture having this natural material uh, so much natural material wood uh, mud straw and these beautiful trees that they're all so perfectly manicured. I mean, you can see on almost all of these trees, they are strung up by uh, strings and that's allowing them to totally form the trees the exact way that, I, that, uh, that they want to and manicure everything. So you can see that this neighborhood used to be where the samurai lived and you can tell how old and practical these streets would have been with all of these uh, lots of big privacy walls and uh, narrow streets. So really nice being here in a traditional Japanese neighborhood. It's amazing the way that they keep these streets absolutely perfectly clear from snow is that there are these little sprinklers in the road and what, what happens is they just pump out water and as that water melts, it goes into drains and it keeps pumping out water. So even though the water's not hot, it keeps it from accumulating on the road and uh, it keeps these roads looking absolutely pristine. All 
right, Mr. Vegan, how you feeling about uh, how you feeling about this fish market here? How are you feeling about that? Well, I ain't feeling about that. <laughs> all right, so that was the fish market. Uh, a little smaller than I thought it was going to be, but all indoor and selling just beautiful fresh fish. Uh, I think it, it icked Reed out a little bit, but. No worries on that front. Uh, there's plenty of markets to go to. Uh, it's still quite early, a little bit too early for breakfast, so we didn't get anything. But uh, we're gonna start making our way over to the bus station and uh, see you guys on the way to Shirikawa Go. We just got off the bus here in Shirigawa, and as you can see, we're up in the mountains now, and the snow is just absolutely ridiculous. It's, it's just like maybe four or five feet of snow, but there's these beautiful, beautiful houses. They're just everywhere. We're absolutely starving. We're gonna go to a restaurant right now. It's inside of one of these houses. So let's get some hot food in us before we start to explore this amazing, beautiful little town. I think. We found our new favorite food. It's these skewered little, I don't know if it's mochi or dumplings, but th these have a, just a fantastic savory, sticky glaze on them. And this whole thing was 500 for five, uh, five skewers, which is a little under like $4. So definitely our new favorite snack or meal. up lunch right there. I had the pork curry udon and Reed had some vegan thing. Um, that was, I'm sure, quite delicious. Uh, <laughs> uh, now we're just going to be walking around uh, exploring this amazing uh, town. The reason that um, Shirikawa Go is so special is because it's made in a, a traditional way where no nails were used in the construction of uh, these houses. And that's done uh, with an incredible craftsmanship uh, in wood joinery. So these big beamed houses are all made um, with big timber frames that have specific joints cut out of them in a very particular way and are used to create these uh, very large structures. So a lot of time and craftsmanship was spent on creating this town. So uh, we're gonna go get into some of these houses and uh, see uh, what life was like uh, a while ago. floor of one of these old uh, farmhouses. We're on the third floor and uh, we got here by walking along this little plank up here. There's vents all over the floor on every level and it's smoky up here and that's because as the fire goes in the bottom there's no chimney so the smoke comes all the way up to the top here uh, and then escapes through the very top and what that does is it sanitizes the thatch and pr like provides a hostile environment for pests like rodents and insects to to live in so it preserves the thatch for longer uh, so lots of different functions but uh, yeah here's these amazing beautiful uh, shoji panel windows we've opened them up for the view outside that's amazing. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
All right, guys, we just got to Takayama from Shirakawa and we had a little bit of a misunderstanding because right now there's a government incentive to get Japanese uh, travelers out and about and, and exploring their own country again. So on booking.com, this hotel was $46 and uh, we showed up and it was actually not $46, that is for Japanese uh, citizens who are vaccinated against COVID only. Uh, so the real price was double that. It was gonna be $117, I think, for us to stay here. Uh, so we said, no, unfortunately, we can't stay here. The guy didn't speak any English, it took maybe half an hour. Um, and then at the end, he couldn't help us out, so we had to go. Uh, and we were looking outside for a new place to stay. And the, the owner of the hotel took pity on us and actually brought us back inside and gave us the booking.com price for two nights. And we're gonna get breakfast tomorrow and there's an onsen here. So we really scored out. It's probably the nicest man I've ever had the pleasure of interacting with that really helped us out tonight. Um, so we're gonna really just, you know, take full advantage of this opportunity and hopefully we can spread the love on later on as we continue here. But uh, we're gonna go hop in the hot springs right now and we're gonna take you with us. All right guys, back in the room. We just finished at the onsen here. It was fantastic, it was so hot. Uh, what, what a nice contrast to the beautiful snowy weather that we've been in all day. I am absolutely exhausted, so we are going to pass out. If you like the video, guys, please do me a favor and like it and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any new ones coming up. And uh, as always, see you guys in the next one.